And now in the aftermath of the deadly school shooting in Parkland, we're getting a better idea of some of the safety enhancements that will be in place in Broward County when students return to class in just five weeks. Broward School Superintendent Robert Runsey led a tour at Miramar High School today. CBS 4's Kerry Codd has the story. New front gates, fencing, signs, and other security measures that will create a secure single point of entry on campus. It's just one of many security upgrades planned for Broward County Public School campuses in the wake of the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas School shooting. It's not um, that we're putting in a bunch of new things. We're just expanding on what we have and making sure that the assets, the policies, procedures, and protocols that we have, that they're being followed. For instance, Runcie said Wednesday they'll need to hire additional people to monitor the millions of dollars of surveillance camera equipment that's being installed district wide. He said that's one of the reasons he hopes voters approve a property tax increase next month to hire more security personnel. Runcie also addressed a new district investigation being done by a retired Secret Service agent into the actions of Stoneman Douglas High school employees before, during, and after the deadly shooting. It's about lessons learned, trying to figure out how we can get better as, as a system. Phil Shentrup's daughter, Carmen, died in the shooting. He said this investigation should have begun long ago, and he wants the principal at Stoneman Douglas, Ty Thompson, removed from the campus while the investigation moves forward. Why is a principal who let 17 people get killed, then failed to secure his campus, the shooter's brother, trespasses multiple times on the campus, still in charge of trying to figure out the security for that school. He's failed. But Runcie said they must let the investigation run its course. We're not going to prematurely take action on, on staff at the school until we actually go through and do a, an investigation. If there are things that we find, certainly we're going to hold people accountable. With all the security improvements, locked gates, locked doors, and other enhancements, Runty said the most important thing is for all school personnel to have the same commitment to enforcing the safety measures day in and day out. There's no point in putting all these features in if we're not going to make sure that we're going to utilize those assets. So in addition to the single point of entry security, Runty also said they're still working to hire more armed guardians for school campuses. And as for the metal detectors at Stoneman Douglas, he said they're still working to purchase those metal detectors and install them. He hopes that'll be done before the beginning of the school year. He said that's akin to a pilot program. Emir Mark Harry Codd, CBS 4 News.